Hi everyone, welcome back to the garage. I'm Sam. And I'm Brad. And today we're going to be showing you how not to make a tubing bender. A tubing bender with a plasma cutter. Yeah, it's a weird technique. We'll, well see we'll what see. happens. We'll see if it works. Okay, so we have a clutch metal bender and um, something that's really good for is bending flat metal. So like hooks and things like this or bending strap to make brackets and really it's really good for this type of stuff and um, you can customize with your um, different diameter dies depending on like how like yeah, sharp different radiuses and stuff you want to make different radiuses like that but one thing that it won't do is bend tubing like cylindrical tubing and um, that's what we want to try to do we want to try to get it modified to where it can actually bend the circular tubing. This does not jive with this. So we needed to make a die that had a concave notch cut out of it. And the problem is tubing benders themselves are not terribly expensive, but the dies are crazy expensive. We wanted to experiment with making one on the plasma cutter. Or rather than have one giant chunk of steel that is machined to the right shape, I wanted to experiment with cutting a bunch of thin layers of steel in different diameters to give us the radius that we want. I hope that makes sense, and I hope the pictures helped. Here's a little bit more detail about how this thing is assembled. Uh, the die is made of a bunch of stacked up layers. You can see here I tried to get the diameter of each layer correct so that when stacked together it would match the radius of a one inch OD piece of tubing. Um, everything is just bolted together and the larger holes are so you can use the the pins from the original bender uh, so you can actually reposition it it's also set up so you can bend a full 180 degree turn if you would like i don't know if we'll ever need to do that but if we want to we can and hopefully everything works as intended okay so this is our victim a tubing one inch outside diameter and then the inside wall is 0 0.095, so 95 thousandths of an inch thick. All right, so this is what he was talking about earlier with the tubing. We have all of these little layers, so that way it's pretty tight with the tubing itself, so we should get a pretty good fit. Okay, so we've got the die here, but to bend tubing, you also need a follower that is the same size. And it is also made up of a bunch of stacked together pieces so that when they're together, it forms a pretty tight uh, seal around the tubing. And the follower is also made of stacked up layers. I just welded them together. Um, that was kind of impractical to do on the die. I just bolted it together, but this is welded and hopefully it will hold up good enough and take the pressure of being smushed. I'm just gonna to try to get it lined up with this flat spot on the die here. And using the original format of the bender, I made this strap that will go around the tubing so you can bolt it down tight so it can't move. Yeah, that's just a little 3 8 bolt. It's kind of tight quarters in here. Uh, <laughs> as far as bolting and stuff because there's not a lot of space in the original die it was or the original bender it was not really designed to do this type of thing we are modifying accordingly and we don't want this tubing to move so i get this sucker clamped down pretty darn tight okay now theoretically, if we yank really hard on this, it'll bend to that. We'll just have to try it. 
Okay, Sam's going to give it a go first. Um, we're going to attempt to do it with just a standard bar with no extra cheater pipe or anything. Uh, it's bolted to the bench, to our bowling alley bench, which is sort of bolted to the wall, so hopefully he doesn't just tip the garage over. Uh, we'll see what happens. I literally have no idea how much energy this will take. Let her rip. See what happens. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh. I'm not getting enough traction, I think, is what the problem is. I think we're going to need a little bit more mechanical advantage. I think you'd be right. Take two with a pretty significant cheater pipe. See what happens. I'm not going to lie, I'm... A little nervous. I'm a little freaked out. <laughs> I don't want to like yank it or anything. I think I need different shoes or something. Okay, Sam's got the strength, but he didn't have the traction. Uh, you know when you need traction, you put some weights in the back of your truck? I'm just putting some weight in the back of the truck. So we'll see what happens. Here we go. It's working. Oh my god. We're getting some. Ah. Okay, here we go. Father of Pearl. Ah. Need a pretty wide area to do this. Ah. You think we're at 90 degrees yet? Oh, I think we're Yeah, we're just about there. Dude. It totally worked. But it works. Sure, you might need to go to the gym, but it works. <sighs> this is the gym. Right. I need a nap. I can see that it galded it a little bit right here. Must have a rough spot on my follower. But that's a minor problem. It wedges itself in there pretty tight. There it goes. Dude. Check it. It is a bent piece of circular tubing. Yeah. That there's something there's a burr or something yeah, in here. In there. Kind of golded it a little bit here, but I can live with that. I'll get that smoothed out. But it works. It worked. So it works. And um, it'll definitely continue to work for an upcoming project that we will have in the future, hopefully. Yeah, we've got a pretty cool thing on the horizon. Now, this is obviously not probably the proper way to bend tubing. Um, I didn't film a whole lot of making this because quite frankly, I didn't think it would work. Um, but hey, uh, we used a plasma cutter and a little metal bender and made it into a semi-usable tubing bender works and the proofs in the pudding right here uh thanks for watching guys if you would like to subscribe to our channel and see more of our content make sure that you click the button somewhere on the screen and um also there will be a link to our last video as well um signing off for now we'll see you guys next time see ya